Hi, this is Sahana. Today we are going to learn repository pattern in ASP.NET Core MVC application. What is repository pattern? As per MSDN, repository pattern is something that is intended to create an abstraction layer between the data access layer and the business logic layer of an application. If you are a complete beginner, you may find it difficult to understand. But don't worry, we will implement this pattern in our project, then you will understand it better. First, we have to understand we can categorize web application into different layers. Common layers of web application are presentation layer. This layer decides the look and feel of application. Then business logic layer. Next comes the data access layer. All our databases and other data sources belong to this layer. Repository pattern creates an abstraction layer between business logic layer and data access layer. If we understand the importance of repository pattern, then we feel motivated to implement this in our application. The first importance is this helps us to build loosely coupled application. Then you can work with multiple data sources and easily switch between them. Next, you can build easy to test application and also application becomes easily maintainable. Let's go ahead and implement this pattern in our application. This is our MVC application. Let me quickly run and show you how does it look. Here we have header and here we have different tabs, home, privacy, contact us and tutorial. When I click on tutorial, we are displaying some data. As of now, we are not working with any database. We have created sample data and we are displaying it on the tutorial view. In our application, we have two controllers, home controller and tutorial controller. For tutorial view, we are creating the sample data inside this index action method. When I created the sample data, I had mentioned this is not the right way or the right place to create the data. I'll show you the right way to create the data. Our today's session is about that. Before implementing this pattern, I'll explain you the existing code so that when we make the changes, you will not get confused. This index action method here we are creating model with sample data and returning that model to the view. Inside views folder, we have tutorial index view. This view is taking that model. Here we have HTML table that displays the data. The method is little bit messy. I'll make quick cleanup. I'll, do, I'll delete all this code. I want to simply create the list of models and I want to return that list to the view. We have to make changes at the view side as well. And I, do, I don't even want this. I want to keep it simple so that we can pay our complete attention to understanding repository pattern. Here I have open index view of tutorial. First, we have to change this model. Because we are returning this tutorial model, we have to pick from models dot tutorial list. We are getting error because we have changed the model. I'll quickly fix it. We have table here and we are we are having the table header here. Then we are, and we have included this for each loop so that we can iterate through the model and display ID, name and description. Now our table is displaying two rows. Let's move ahead and implement repository pattern in our application. We have already discussed that repository pattern creates abstraction layer between data access layer and business logic layer. But what is this abstraction layer? Abstraction is something that do not give any implementation details. It gives only information on what is available, not how it is available. Repository pattern makes use of interfaces to create the abstraction layer. In our project, let's create one more folder by name repository. I'll name it as repository. Now we know that we have to take help of interface to implement this pattern. Let's go ahead and add interface and I'll name it as iTutorial repository. I'll change it to interface. If you know object oriented programming, you would know that interfaces will not have method implementation. They will have only method declarations defined in them. Here, here I'll declare all the methods that are necessary for CRUD operation. I'll say control dot. 
here we have to include our model after adding this namespace our error is gone my interface is ready just having an interface is not enough we should create a class that implements this interface I'll add one more class by name tutorial repository now we can implement this repository I'll say implement interface now we can give the implementation for all these methods here in our example we are creating this sample data inside this index action method now I will not create the sample data inside this index action method instead I want to create the sample data inside tutorial repository I'm still relying on creating the sample data because we do not have any database for our project once we start learning entity framework we can slowly move from this sample data to actual database and actual database tables for this session I want to rely on sample data because I want to help you to understand repository pattern if I include everything in one session it will be a mess so let's understand repository pattern first later we can gradually move to real database and tables inside this tutorial repository and create a constructor and inside that constructor I'll create the sample data so that whenever we create an instance of this tutorial repository our sample data will be ready in this session I'll not give implementation for all these methods the reason is I want to keep it simple for this session let's implement this get all tutorials the code is very simple we can simply return this list that's it this method implementation is ready now let's go back to tutorial controller now we don't want to create the data over here because that get all tutorial method is doing that for us I'll remove this now one way is we can create the instance of tutorial repository then we can call this get all tutorial methods I'll see you and let's see uh, whether it is working as expected or not it is working as expected our code is working as expected but my question is is this the best approach to create the instance no because this makes our application tightly coupled what is the solution the solution is to make use of dependency injection in our case tutorial repository is our dependency as per dependency injection we should not create the instance of our dependency instead we should inject the dependency let's see how to do this uh, anyhow our dependency is ready now uh, we have to follow two things one is to register the dependency second thing is to inject the dependency I have already discussed dependency injection in detail in case if you want to know dependency injection I'll keep the link in the description box later you can have a look and watch that video to register the dependency open program.cs the beauty of ASP.NET code framework is see we have built-in dependency injection container it's registering the services one step process it's very simple we have to register our dependency with dependency with built-in dependency injection container it's a very simple process here we are registering the service uh, or you can say adding the service to the dependency injection container with add scope method here whenever we request I whenever we request I tutorial repository the dependency injection container will create the instance of tutorial repository and we can use that instance in our application next after registering this service we can come back to our tutorial controller this tutorial controller we can create the constructor and inject the dependency next <clears throat> instead of creating the instance we can make use of this field and we can call get all tutorial method we can say get all tutorial that's it we have implemented dependency injection with repository pattern and made our application loosely coupled let's save the changes and look at our application we have implemented repository pattern without breaking our application what I showed you is simplest approach to implement repository pattern 
Still, we are relying on this sample data. From next session onwards, let's learn the basics of entity framework. Then we will remove this code and work with the real database. I hope you are clear with the repository pattern. That's it for today's session. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.